Take a video. Oh, Dan, it's a wonderful day in uh, Jerusalem. We are very close to Prophet Samuel tomb and we are visiting the nature. And what you see here, it's a Jordanian tunnel. Until 1967, he is the last one we have to go be in front of him. Until 1967, that used to be Jordan. We are making a round tour around uh, Nebi Samuel, uh, Prophet Samuel tomb, which is on top of the hill. You will see it from time to time. And why they had a bunker here? Because that was the border between Israel and Jordan until 1967. Why not? The border between Israel and Palestine, very easy. The Jordanian in 1948 occupied future Palestine. And they call it the West Bank. And that's the West Bank. There, it's Israel. Another bunker, another uh, war or defense tunnel of the Jordanians. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely day. Oops, oops, almost fell. I'm not sure it's gonna be the last time that I will fall. You can see a little bit of Jerusalem here. And the group is just with us. And uh, say hello. Hello. <laughs> it's another uh, uh, tour guide, but in what language you are speaking? You, you? Yes, you too. French, Hebrew, Hebrew. Hebrew. <laughs> ah, look at that, look how beautiful our the olive, yeah, olive trees, shalom, 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 chag sameach, todah, now we are at <laughs> Nebi Samuel, which is upstairs, we had two major uh, wars uh, in the present past. Uh, the first one was between the British and the uh, Ottomans and, uh, and that was in 1917. The British conquered that place but they destroyed most of Nebi Samuel, uh, Prophet Samuel place. And the second war was between Israel or future Israel uh, and uh, the Palestinians and the Jordanians there. We, I mean, the Israelis were defeated with 44 dead people. And until 1967, it was a Jordanian area. Remember the tunnels that we saw? Uh, that's from 1960, uh, 1948 and up until 1967. But look how beautiful is the uh, place. I love it, isn't it? It's not so hot, it's not so cold, I can't complain, I'm happy. And because I promised to you to show my face once in a video, I'll try to do that. Then are you ready for me? Yeah. Hello, that's me. And I'm enjoying a nice um a nice tour around it in the nature for five hours. We can do that too. Dad, all right, he saw me. Let's say goodbye. Uh, here we are. Look at that. Oh. Forest that was planted by the Israelis. Look how green it is. Although we had a horrible rain here. We're following the black and white path. A lot of pine trees, which are not so Israeli trees, they're not local trees, but you can see here a lot of terraces here, there, everywhere. Uh, we try to check it from when, what time the terraces here are from, and uh, difficult to find it out. We believe that, uh, we know that in the biblical, um, in the Bible, uh, the Bible talks about terraces like that. And this is the best. Uh, we are on the way walking on one of the, those terraces, and uh, it's the best, the best option to for agriculture in a monetary area. Than in that case, 
uh, we know that from the first temple time we had terraces, but those terraces, I'm not sure that I know exactly who built it and when. But it's still beautiful, isn't it? I love the nature and I'm not so good with it. Still in the same tour of Nebi Samuel, Prophet Samuel, or Ram Prophet Samuel, and you can see here some part of the um, Jordanian slash Ottoman, uh, maybe army camp. You can see that. Uh, uh, we don't know what they did or what they used it for. But we know that it's con it connected to the army, and as you can see, there's an entrance from there to those pits. But yeah, yeah, then we will uh, try to enter there to show it to you as well. Now, let's enter and let's use the flashlight. Yes. Yes. Wait. I will wait. Yeah. I will wait. Yeah. I will wait. Oh, it is. That's for you. Oops. Wow. It looks like a bunker. All right. Then it's actually reached the pits. Let's go outside. We saw it. It looks like just dead. And we were there. The sun is in our eyes, but you can see here the tomb of Nebi Samuel. We're gonna go to it. We're gonna uh, talk about it later on, but now you can see that it's on top of the hill. It's around 800 meters above sea level, 24 feet above sea level. And we're still walking around it. Oh, beautiful day. It's a beautiful view, but there on top of the hill it's Ramallah, Palestinian city. And you can see here, wow, walking, bushes, wow, barefoot. Here you can see water system, we don't know from who built it and when, but it doesn't function now as a water system because they destroyed that part of the wall. Uh, but shepherds can actually come with a herd and drink here. Look how beautiful it is. That, in that case, that's the West Bank, somewhere there. Um, the wall is not here. There's a fence here. But that fence is only for the uh, villages, uh, Palestinian villages around here. Um, the famous wall is not here. It's a little bit political uh, tour, but, you know, I'm trying not to hide anything from you. Beautiful water system. Well, the national park of Nebi Samuel, uh, Samuel, Prophet Samuel, is quite, quite big. Uh, it's eight times more 
bigger more than the city of the uh, si uh, sorry the old city of Jerusalem and guys we have to climb all the way up who's going to carry me up gosh done uh, I will talk with you when <laughs> I will be upstairs if not you know what will happen in the middle of the way then see you on top of the hill yeah bye bye that the wind is strong now but it's important for me to show you this is Ramallah dear uh, Chapala uh, but this is give on give on is such an important in, a place because it's actually mentioned in the book of Joshua when he asked God to leave the Sun on then then the Sun was on give on which is right here and the moon was at Ayalon Valley, which is further there. Then, um, here you can find so many Palestinians and Israeli villages as well. Beautiful, isn't it? Then, in that case, Deir Jab, which is actually an Arabic village, but you can hear the Kiv'on in it. And this is the Jewish Kiv'on now. And this is the biblical one. I, I hope that you can hear me. I know it's so it's windy. And I, I know, I know. But it's beautiful. There's less wind, but you can see. Biblical give on. And the Jewish give on is there. The new one and the old one, El Jib, is here. Bet Nabola is right here. And there you can see, um, there you can see Ramallah. The, and, and the fence here is uh, kind of the wall the fence between the West Bank and Israel. Look how beautiful it is the view, less the politic issue. But you know, that's life now, and I'm not trying to hide it from you. In front of you, you can see um, a cave, a burial cave, a rock out. Rock at cave from first temple time, let's say King David time and up. And if you can, didn't see it before, this is Jerusalem, the new city of Jerusalem, right there. Okay. We saw some deers here, but I didn't take a video of it, and we saw it. Uh, you can see the, some goat here and the shepherd. It's a woman. It's so beautiful here. look like but it's a agriculture area of the Bedouins here mainly food for the cattle uh, here we are very close to the path that we are walking through you can see another burial cave from ancient time and I will use the flashlight then we might see something there. Difficult to see. Yes, you can see the, some of the niches. Then, it can be first, second temple time. Beautiful to see it. And you can hear now the Muazin from Ramallah district. And Bet Hanina, which is a village next to Jerusalem, today it's part of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem mainly the west part of the city. You can see Jerusalem at the background, and I don't want to go further than here, but this is a Byzantine system. It's a huge one, and you can see a lot of um, fig trees in it. And I don't know if you can see it, it's difficult enough for me to show it to you, but if you see the fig, the fruit itself now. 
slowly. Oh, maybe this one that you can see here. Ah, oh, here it is. Then why we have a lot of fix in the uh, in the water system? Mainly because um, bats like to hide themselves or to live in the uh, water system area. And um, you know they're eating the fruit, they're fertilizing it, and new factories are born. Um, straight ahead on top of the hill, it's Nebi Samuel, Prophet Samuel Tomb, and we are heading there. Uh, on the way, we will see another water system, and we are walking on the cliff. You can see that so, some of us already reached the water system there. Uh, and I'm so sorry for the... Oh, it's not. It's might be another one or whatever, another water system. But we're not heading there. I'm so sorry about the wind. Uh, it's still winter time in Israel. 